Mythic! Mythic with a four rare deck. Let's go. Yeah! Smashing. Let's go. Hey, hey, it's Mythic Mike. We're here with a great standard deck. We are using Lassef, Wearer of Faces, to bring back our cards from the graveyard, including the big side of Phyrexian. And similarly, we are using Invasion of Amaket to bring back our creatures and make 4-4 four, four bats and things on the base of one of my favorite decks, if you haven't seen it, which is a Demir Eidetic Memory, where you draw cards with Shelly and just pop off with so many great tools. So yeah, Lassif is just a very sick card. It's legendary. I only ended up putting three of these and three of these and three of these legendary and legendary um, because it's so hard to find space in these decks. Uh, these colors and this shell was so good. If you haven't seen my um, Eidetic Demir deck, check it out. It climbs fast. Uh, this one as well, though. Shapeshifter Detective, two mana. When it attacks, exile a card from a graveyard, including opponents. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you may have Lassef become a copy of a creature card exiled with until end of turn. So that means if we have one of these in the graveyard, which is a 7-5 menace, right? And they can't target it or they have to pay life. Usually you pay, pay it for 3. It's a 3-3. Three, three. But if you pay 7, it is a 7-5. Well, we attack. We make a clue. We pay 2 and draw a card to break the clue. And we turn it into our 7-5 Phyrexian Flesh Georger, Menace, Lifelink. Easy, from a 2-mana card. Same thing, we can turn it into Sheldred if we want. And then, uh, I mean, it's a 4-5 Death Touch body, not bad. Obviously, Sheldred is great in the shell, because whenever you draw a card, you gain 2 life. And, you know, it pings the opponent when they draw cards. We've got Invasion of Imaket which when it enters the battlefield, each player mills three cards, then each opponent discards a card and you draw a card. So we get card draw. Again, the clues we make from this are also card draw. And this is important for eidetic memory. Um, and then if we kill this, which is pretty easy to kill, only four, then you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature card in a graveyard. Again, opponent's creatures too, except it's a four, four black zombie in addition to its other types. So the most fun one to do is to turn it into a 4-4 lifelink bat that um, will steal their card. But we can turn it into a 4-4 flying vigilance guy here. And when it enters, it still draws the cards. If you haven't seen this card yet, it's a 3 mana. Usually it's a 2-2 flying vigilance. When it enters, draw 2 cards, then discard 2 cards. Unless you discard an instant or sorcery or creature with flying, then you only discard 1. And the reason why we have all this card draw, first of all, we can discard um our big creatures from this and this mills creatures putting things in the graveyard uh for our reanimation strategy but also eidetic memory is still the shell of this deck or the heart of this deck when it enters you draw a card no maximum hand size and at the beginning of combat in your turn you get plus one plus one counters equal to how many cards you drew after the first so if we draw if we do the clue post attacks we don't actually benefit from eidetics but if we're just making clues we can pop them to benefit eidetics. Uh, this will trigger eidetic. This will trigger eidetic. Uh, so it's just very nice that this reanimation strategy goes along with the card draw and the base we already had. We do have um, fairy we're using here instead of some of the other cards. Uh, the surveil is nice to put some of our stuff in the graveyard if we have to so that we can reanimate it. And also uh, for three mana, you draw a card, you get it back from your graveyard, which goes with obviously our card draw, Sheldred, and Eidetic Memory Strategy, Cut Down and Fading Hope to Survive, Geist Wave, which is nice. I had mentioned this before. You can bounce their stuff, including a temporary lockdown, but also you can bounce your own thing, including your Eidetic, and draw a card. And if you bounce your Eidetic, then you play it again, and you will have drawn two cards, and two more counters will come from that. So it's a very cool little um, trick with that. Make disappear, just a couple of them. And only a couple Fairy Vandal. Flash flying when you draw your second card, put a plus one plus one counter on it. The reason we're not using the Kanai Bird is because we do like having flash things that we can kind of hold up here. Um, when we have make disappear, if we're considering if we're going to bounce things, it's, it's really nice to just have a couple of these and they can still get through the air to kill our invasion. Uh, so yeah, it's, oh, also when you play this, this is just a 4-4 four, four flying vigilance if you have eidetic in play, 
based on how that works. One Plaza of Heroes that came in uh, clutch in one game. Two of these bounce spells, and we do have two Restless Reef. It's a great one. It plays similar to the other Demir one, but you just have this other line of play of reanimation, which is super fun. I did try push and pull in this for a second, so you might see one or two of them. Um, push pull is a cool spell where you kill something on one side, or for six mana, you will take two things out of the graveyard and they have haste the reason i didn't is because this actually exiles creatures from the graveyard so it kind of was counterproductive uh but yeah i make a unique deck every single day so remember to like and subscribe we're crushing the top thousand mythic right now let's get into the games let's get it done all right br bear let's go <laughs> these cards look so weird we just have our what our one off uh nah we need some lands. Gonna be interesting. We can ditch our Shelly and not turn into Shelly this turn, but all right, so he does have the insidious roots. What's nice is we can just kill that, right? Balance is a kill spell on tokens. Do we turn it into Shelly? I don't think so. I think we just get Shelly down for now. I wish we could turn it into that. That'd be pretty cool. No creatures, sir. Mm. Oh, yeah. Lose that life. Alright, so now we gotta watch out because if we exile his stuff, it's actually bad. Hey, I have a version, I haven't posted it yet with Diabolic Edict. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. All right. 
it's nice we're just making these that we can just pop at any time, right? I think you're dead, sir. Not right now, but very soon. Masterpiece. We're also playing a weird deck right here. Insidious Roots is kind of... What are you going to get? Mm. That it, The Haywire is the right play. I put it in all my decks with small creatures because it stops um, temporary lockdown. Draw a card, lose some life. Let's go. You got you needed some flying, baby. That's all she wrote. Feels good. So that was a weird one because we didn't really get creatures under him. If we did, it would be turning into something else. Oh, does he have a life spell? Press your trigger, sir. Is someone roping me like this? <laughs> I'd expect someone like you to be playing Boros Convoke, sir. All right, let's go. Get out of here. All right, one punch God. Well, if you're doing a one punch deck, you are in trouble because uh, we're coming at you with Bounce Reanimator. Is that even a type of shell? It is right now. All right, get out of here, Path of Peril. One Punch God is playing Control. It's a misnomer. Did he draw something? Uh, what? Oh, it's this. Yeah, okay. I was like, what's the stick? Alright, hit something. We hit nothing. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna... Okay. We do have Fading Hope. Oh, shoot, I should have just discarded it. <laughs> uh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. The reason is because I can get it um, back. Now, if he has a board wipe, I should... Um, 
have not done that. But look at that little card draw. I mean, I like that. Do we put this down or is that overkill? Nah, we'll save it and we'll bounce something. If he board wipes. Ooh, he has it. He has Devious. Ah, that's a problem. What's nice is we can start uh, bringing stuff back now, potentially. We'll see how many board wipes he has. What did you take? Eidetic, huh? Interesting. I mean, I see the logic. I think you're wrong, but I see what you're thinking. One do you want to kill, sir? <laughs> Some long games, huh? I was hoping that would be the case. That is legendary. How many creature lands I got in here? I need one more. can protect him now and then we're going to pop off next turn uh interesting Oh, baby. Oh, a little 7-5 menace? 
Boom. There's one in there, right? Yeah. That's nice. Come on, guys. That felt good. A little 2 3 turning into a 7 5, drawing a card. Does he have a board wipe? And will it matter? So I can save my Lazav, by the way, which is pretty cool. With my Plaza Heroes. I guess I didn't have to discard the other one. <laughs> if you target it, you lose seven life, sir. And we have a Plaza of Heroes. did put down our Plaza of Heroes now. He can't counter a channel. Come on. Does he have another one? Yo! Come on, swinging it with Frexian Flesh Gorger from a 2 3. Let's go. All right, Peppa Woods, 398. Uh, let's go. Um, take that so we got a we got a trash person over here playing boris convoke and i have to put him in their place take out the trash baby oh at least they have that land that is that is going to be helpful Here go, Boros Convoke. Can't be playing that deck and take this long. <laughs> Dude, Bounce is going to feel so nice on there.
trash people, man. Trash people be trashing. Clearly, Boros Convoke is still doing pretty well. <laughs> What's he pausing about? Scry that many times and miss the third land. <laughs> Peppa Woods, what are you doing with your life, man? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> You're playing Boros Convoke, sir. Your choices are attack or tap your warden. Those are your choices. Get out of here, sir. Just playing the busted deck in best of one, taking every wasting everyone's time. Wasting everyone's time on multiple fronts. Actually just taking forever, dude. I can't bounce both, huh? Well, that's not good. Oh, I do have a legendary permanent. My god, I'm losing my mind. You know what? Maybe I uh, should have saved both of them and let him think he was going to win. But then again, he might have won, right? With another plus one, plus one. All right, I'm about to take out the trash, I can tell. Sorry, Peppa Woods. Playing against Mythic Mike, trying to bring things back from the graveyard, but we didn't get it off this time. We'll just beat you normal. Yeah, you're not going to win this. You're not going to win. All right, let's see. 2, 12, 16... Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. 2, 12, 16, 21, plus 3, 
Like that. Like that. Good game. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. Peppa Woods, that's what you get. Boros Convoke and Slow out of control. Alright, good game though. Alright, V Core, let's go. Uh, sure. Kind of weird. Alright, our bats will have to carry us for now. That's going to be pretty big. Can he win with one land? For sure I'm doing that. So this is a little tricky. Ah, shoot. So I can't stop it. Although the good news is that's not going to work. I don't know what that strategy was, Vicor, but that was not the right one. <laughs> if not, we were we won, right? Oh, he got me. <laughs> what a top dude, what a top draw that was. Good game. Alright, Kaleru. Let's go. Looks good to me. I guess I maybe should have done that first.
How did he get that? Creature card in a graveyard. Oh, is there no? Alright. We'll do a bat. Get out of here, Sunfall. Feels good, though. I'll take another bat. Let's go, baby. Interesting. These creature lands are lifesavers, huh? I guess his creature land is stopping me, right? Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense. Probably a mistake, right? Because we get it uh, in our graveyard now. kind of weird. Did you just give me two creature lands? Mm. 
All right. That is a fun card. Oh, we got your memory deluge. Interesting game. All right, as would be expected. I mean, we're still in this, baby. I guess we are going to do it this way. We get a land, we can. Oh no, we can already do it. bringing this home. Yeah, we're keeping up with, with the control, huh? Oh, interesting choice there. So we're not attacking because he could kill it next turn. That is vigilance, sir. Oh my god, we got Flesh Gorger. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> All right, you are top decking, though. You are top decking in a very dangerous place. Have we beat this blue white control? Monstrosity. God, vigilance is so nice, huh? Have we done it? Yeah, we'll do this. We'll see what we're getting next. Yes. We can start bringing things back from the graveyard. Is there anything in the graveyard? We've been exiling. Well, if he kills any of my stuff without Sunfall. <laughs> ah! Let's go, baby. Check out one of these two videos. Remember, I make a unique deck every single day. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Let's go, baby.